Yo, 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 what it do, what it is, where it at? It's your boy, special guest today for Cool Paso Spot Podcast, your boy Eric H., you know, Team Relentless. First and foremost, welcome to the show. We got a special show for y'all today, a bunch of people in the house. Um, to begin with, first and foremost, anyone out there who wants to do this right here, host their own podcast with the help of uh, Cool Paso, any team wants to do what we're about to do right now and show y'all. Right now, they have a sale going on. Make sure to get with them, contact them, Instagram, Facebook. YouTube, Cool Paso, $200. This could be you and your team promoting yourself, your brand right here, right now. So make sure y'all tap in with that. With that being said, I want to welcome y'all to the show. And here's a special guest. I've been waiting to do this for a while. My boys, Team Relentless. Let's go. Give a round of applause. That's a long time. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So I don't want to take their shine. So I'm going to go ahead. I got some questions for them, a few topics. I'm going to let them go ahead and, um, Get that little 15, 20 minutes of fame in. So first we'll go around the room with some intros. Go ahead and kick it off first. Right here, who we got, my man. Uh, hi, hello, my name is Alex. Uh, Alex Adel. Uh, I've been playing for about uh, 2008, so I've been playing for a good while on this game. Let's go, keep it going, keep it going. Um, this one's kind of special, y'all. You gotta be careful. Right? <laughs> he's, 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 he's high challenge, y'all. You want a booster seat? Michael. Uh, it's his second uh, season. That, that ain't your real name. What's the real name? Um, Michael Clark. No, what's the real name? Mike Wazowski. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you here, go. The one and only. <laughs> um, second season playing flag football. Um, couldn't ask for it any better with other than my boys here from Relentless. That's what I'm talking about. I hear that right there. Man, get that man a jersey. <laughs> He's in his work clothes, man. <laughs> what's up, what's up? I'm Trey. I'm from VA. This is my seventh season playing. Really? Hmm? I don't know where you're from. Oh. Look at that. Black man. <laughs> 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 uh, what's up? Uh, I'm Brotherton. Uh, they call me CMC on the team. Hey. Uh, other than that, I've been playing since, I want to say, 2020. I used to play for a team in Missouri, moved to El Paso, and then started playing for these guys, and I couldn't ask for a better team. He's just trying to um, kiss up, y'all. He's trying to keep that star spot. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 it's uh, Genesis Ghost Bell in the building. Uh, if you want to get locked up, I'm going to find you on Relentless. Uh, but hey, from the VA site, I'm from Atlanta. So now y'all got a quick tidbit on, on, on who these boys are real quick around the room. So first and foremost, you know, football season just kicked off. You know, NFL kicked off their preseason yesterday. Uh, most of the league, college football is around the corner. We play flag football. We live in Texas. You know, out here, Texas is closest, you know, a little bigger than church almost maybe. So we got to get into football talk. So first and foremost, I want to know, what are y'all's predictions as far as this NFL season? Who do y'all see um, making some moves? Who do y'all see um, really, really being contenders at the end of the year? Uh, to be honest, I really, I really don't know. I mean, I usually go for my team on bias, but as far as like any surprises, uh, maybe the Bengals can come back. Maybe Joe Burrow is going to have that renaissance season where he's just going to come back and blow up to the league who knows uh, maybe josh allen might snap out of it buffalo might snap out of that too and maybe become a good playoff game between buffalo and, and cincinnati who knows but yeah i mean anything's possible in the nfl man you don't think them uh missing joe mixon is gonna affect them at all in the run game Nah, i i think running backs are pretty much like a dime a dozen they they'll just you know they'll get someone else that's going to go out there and produce the yardage so i don't think they're going to they're going to threat with that, especially with Joe Burrow. If, if they have him accurate and pretty much on on uh, on point, the running game will be something re irrelevant to, to that. So y'all hear that, right? If y'all are running backs and this man owns a league or NFL one day, do not play for this man if you're a running back. You will not get paid. That's all I heard from what he just said. If you're running back, don't play for Ali. <laughs> but no, I, um, I, I can agree with you on that to an extent. So you think it's coming out for the AFC as far as the AFC? You think it's either come out the North or the, or the AFC East? Uh, the North. You think North. Mahomes is running and the AFC is done? Yeah, I think I, I think they're done. I think Ooh. they're. I, no, I think that he'll probably get hurt. He, he, he's gonna do something where he's gonna get hurt. 
oh wishing 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 i don't want to say it but boy that's right, that's, that's some hot words right, right there the way that he plays i mean it's, it's, it's good it's bound to happen it's bound to happen uh, okay i see i see you so who you, who you got to come up the nfc and don't say carolina uh, do not say <laughs> not because that's your team it's because it, it's not carolina it's <laughs> not carolina <laughs> uh that's a tough one but as far as like the nfc um if nobody can stop them in the niners man they're they got a complete offense. They got a, a complete defense, pretty much. Like as far as linebackers, defensive line, uh, corners, and, and safeties, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll probably make a run for it. Um, the Detroit Lions maybe might give them a little contention, but depending if everyone can stay healthy. But yeah, the, the Niners are. All right. So money on the line, house on the line, car on the line. Give me your two NFC, AFC, Super Bowl. Who's in it? Wow. Uh, I want to say Cincinnati and uh, I'm a Niners man, Cincinnati Niners. And, Niners. and who's hosting the, the Lombardi then? Uh, that will probably be Cincinnati. I think they'll come up on top. Ooh, be a close game or offensive shootout? A uh, close game. Give me a score. I'm keeping track of this because. Field goal, man. Field goal, maybe 24 27. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. I like that. I like that. I'm a, we're gonna after this uh, show, we're gonna get you know get some paperwork done on bets so that if it doesn't happen, you can pay up at the end of the season because I got bills to pay and I can use your money. <laughs> All right, what about what about my boy Mike Krasowski over there? What what you what you feeling, Mike? Who who you who you rocking with this season? I I, I mean I already know who you rocking with, rocking with, but like who you rocking with this year? Um, so big Cowboys fan. Yeah, every year. Hold up, run that, run that back again. You said a big what fan? Big Cowboys fan. All day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> about, about a tear to my eye. Uh, yeah, I love my boys, but it's, it's always a choking season by playoffs. It is. Yeah, it's rough. It's, it's Jerry makes it hard for us. I tell you that. Yeah, he's got to go. The son's got to go. All of them got to go. It's just. I honestly agree with Alex there. It's gonna be Cincy. I feel like Cincy might take it 27-24. And no no one said no one said Lamar up in Baltimore yet? I don't know, man. Last season they were they were doing pretty good, but when it came down to the end, they, they just couldn't do it. I, I don't know, that's just the Mahomes factor. I think I think Mahomes when when, when that fourth quarter comes around and, 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 and that his his he really steps up and that dog comes out. It, it, it makes not only the players he's going against freak out, but I think it puts them coaches, it puts them for a spin too. That they, they, they throw everything out the window, they just forget because I mean it's Mahomes. Yeah, I mean the man, what the man scored a touchdown? What eleven seconds? How was that? Seventeen seconds? Seventeen seconds. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, anyone that could put up six and seventeen seconds in, in, in a clutch moment, they they put fear in my heart too. So that's probably it's probably what it is. But that, I, all right, I get it. No love for Lamar. I know it is what it is. I hope Lamar does better than that, so both of y'all can eat them words. <laughs> so who's in the who's in the Super Bowl this year? Then who you got? Uh, Cincy and Niners. And Cincy. the only reason why I say Cincy is because Joe Burrow's honestly been the only one to take out. Mahomes. So you think you think Mr. Slim Shady himself finna finna put eight mile on the map? Oh yeah. Oh he's, yeah. He's a mixture of Slim Shady and Cody Rose all of a sudden. Oh, oh, he about <laughs> he about to go finish his story. Hey, matter of fact, shout out to my son. He a big Cody Rhodes fan. You know what I'm saying? I had to put that in there real quick since we over here finishing stories. But yeah, so you're gonna finish the story of Super Bowl, right? All right, all right. So Slim, Slim Shady, aka Joe Nasty, <laughs> aka Joe, Joe Cool, Shiesty. about to go get that 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 chip. Hey, you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing him get it. I think I think Joe deserves it. Um. Him and Jamar too. Jamar especially. I'm, Jamar I'm, I'm a fan of Jamar, so it'd be nice to see him get one. But uh, we'll see. I think I think the AFC it's it's wide open in the AFC this year. NFC's a little tighter. AFC it's it's at least five six horse race in the AFC. I think. Yeah. So perfect. we'll see what it is and how it breaks down. Or you know, my man right here, Trey, can let us know what he thinks. You know, who you who you who you think coming to this thing, Trey? Trey, Trey, Trey over there thinking about going home to play NCAA right now. He ain't even worried about us. <laughs> hey, shout out to NCAA. Hey, shout out to EA Sports bringing it back. I know all of us it's sitting at this table and all, all the men around the world that are about our age can appreciate having college football back in our lives on the sticks. So shout out to EA Sports for that. You know what I'm saying? I had to put that in there real quick. All right, Trey. So let us know who you got coming from the AFC and the NFC. 
Uh, I'm with them, though. Since the, since the Niners as well. God, everybody, y'all just did y'all have like a team meeting before this and didn't tell me. But hey, we gonna we gonna rock we gonna rock with with, with uh, Cincinnati and San Fran. Or is it because I came in my jersey today, y'all? Like we gonna say San Fran just because? Everybody <laughs> it, I feel the hate. It's all right. It's all right. It's like shh, boy, I do too. But y'all, no one. Everybody just say all right. Go ahead. I feel you. Go ahead. Let me know what it is. All right. Why is it gotta be Cincy? Gotta be Cincy. The man, the man Joe Shiesty, he, he, he out here, he out here, he looking for it. Y'all think the man that cold? Yeah. Is it, is it, is it? Yeah, is that, that, that man in the offseason changed his whole, out, like his whole look. Is, is it, whole, the, is that what it is? Y'all, y'all, y'all think, is that why he got the league on notice because the, the hairstyle? Bro, last time he had blonde hair, it was. He had blonde hair before? Yeah, he was college, bro. He was insane. Is that when he had uh, the, 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 the Louisiana burr on the back? Oh yeah, that yeah, that was cold. That was cold, Joe, bro. Yeah, he was. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah okay, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't remember him having the blonde hair at, at that moment. I do remember that jersey though, because I wanted that jersey. He was not an LSU fan, but yeah, okay, yeah, that boy nasty. All right, so we got, so Trey got Joe nasty going because he got the haircut. What else, Trey? Put us on. What else? Hey, uh, overall, I think I have Niners. I have Niners taking it all. You don't. You, what do you think about um them if they if they do lose Ayuk though? You think that'll affect their chances getting into the um? I because honestly, I'm not. I'm not even saying this because I'm a Cowboys fan. Just just a fan of the game itself. Ayuk is is more that 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 deep threat than Debo is. Yeah. Like, I feel like you take Ayuk away, Debo don't get those inside slants that usually gets them. You know them them five ten bangers real quick because. I use out there, you got to respect that speed and the damage he does. And, you know, I, I feel like you take him off the field. Yeah, you still got Kittle, but, you know, having a, a receiver who runs a 4-4, a 4-3 four, 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 versus a tight end who runs, you know, 4-5, four, 4-6, four, whatever, yeah. it's a di different different kind of threat. You know what I mean? Not saying Kittle ain't a threat, but I you, he's, he's, he's that that deep ball threat. So. Yeah, so do you think if 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 they lose IU, you think they still they still in it? They still in it. They will take one of their weapons away for sure. But hey, you know. You think you think uh in that situation you think Kittle steps up or you think they plug someone else in? I think I think I think they they have some they plug somebody else in somebody else fill that fill that role. Yeah, that, they, you might be right. I, I didn't really see who they picked up in the draft this year. I, I saw a couple of names, but I didn't look too much. But their receiver core, uh, not 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 too many guys I'm familiar with. So I mean. This is the best time of the year in football um, for for players, anyways, um, and for you know real fans of the game. You know, you see them guys out there trying to make the team. So to us, it's just you know preseason games. They don't mean nothing for us, but to these guys out there playing, this is everything. It's a Super Bowl every week. So you mean every? You know, necessarily they don't have to have like a fast receiver though. I mean, you're right. They, they yeah. have a veteran receiver plug in. You're right. I mean, you can. I mean, there's, there's a few. Difference. There's a few vets out there too that didn't get picked up surprisingly this off season. So they could go out there and make a move for a, a Wiley vet, which doesn't it never hurts to get get a vet in, in the locker room. You know, field experience and and in the, in the locker room as a leadership standpoint. So they might just do it. So we all got same squads going so far. My dog over here, CMC, the truth. <laughs> If y'all want to know what we call him CMC, take a look at him real quick. You need us to zoom in. We can zoom in, <laughs> screenshot it, hit the pause button on, on YouTube, whatever you got to do. You know what we call him CMC. And yes, not just the looks. The boy is fast. He's quick. There's ankles all over El Paso somewhere because this man then left ankles. So if your husband can't walk around right, he can't help to pick the kids up. He can't. I know, I know right? I know, right? You know, you know, you know what we're talking about. We're talking about football here. We're talking about football. Because this man be snapping and breaking them. It's that serious on the field. Come catch him on the weekends. You'll find out. It's the boy CMC. Hey, CMC. So, all right. Bengals Niners. Bengals Niners. Bengals Niners. Let us know what it is. Let me get you all up. Bengals Niners. Niners. Nah. Oh, nah, nah. hold up. We got ladies. Nah, nah. Ladies and gentlemen, if I had water, I would have spit it out like Triple H right now. Hold up. Hold up. Go ahead. Go ahead. The thing is, like, to be honest, bro, I don't really watch football. I just play it. That, hold up. That That's that's the most. Hey, look, kids out there, you watching this. Y'all want an inspirational tattoo to get on you and you a baller? There it is right there. I don't really watch football. I just play it. That is the most doggest. Can't say it on YouTube. But that's the most doggest. Thing I heard in a minute. I don't. I'm gonna use that. 
I'm gonna use that next game we play. But I don't, I don't, I don't watch play. Was it? What'd you say? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't watch flag football. I play it. Boy, that's, that's so gangster. That, what? <laughs> All right. So, Mister, I don't watch. I just, I just play it. If you had to watch it, give me two teams. Here's one answer right here. You can just say them. Hey, they got a squad. You could say them. Nah. I like, I like players more than anything. Right. If I don't watch football, I'm just a player. So if you had to pick two players in, one from the AFC, one from the NFC to watch the Super Bowl, who are you watching? The only player that I looked at, especially when I played high school, I only played for a short amount of time, was Julian Edelman. That's like the one Wes Welker from back then. You know what? I don't think... Shout out to Julian Edelman. That man is funny as hell. I don't know how, how funny that man was till he started doing podcasts and got on YouTube all that stuff. He's funny. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah, but you know what? Edelman is a dog too on the field. Like I didn't really realize. I didn't realize how much of an impact that man had on the offense till like after he got out the league and I watched his highlights on YouTube and stuff. That man, like, say what you want about Edelman. Like he's a system receiver. He only runs short routes. This and that. You know, coming from a former receiver, I used to play receiver growing up in high school. Them middle routes are the scariest routes to run because if the ball ain't in the right spot, you're getting killed. And, and you're getting <laughs> you're getting killed. If you're not smart, you're gonna be smart. Hey, so quarterbacks in high school, shout out to my boy Lefty, my high school quarterback. That that man was Donovan McNabb back in the day before Donovan McNabb, if y'all know who that is. But um, but yeah, yeah. Edelman, yeah, he a dog. So all right. So Edelman would be who you watch. Give me one more. Who who, who do you want to watch if you could watch someone? Hell, I don't even know. To be honest with you, like I said, I Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, Michael Irvin, Deion Sanders, Deion. I mean, they ain't gotta be Cowboys. Yeah, I'm like the most boring person to ask these kind of questions. You could say yourself too. I mean, you could be in the Super Bowl too. You could say yourself. It's CMC, dog. Should I agree? All right, so, so you got <laughs> CMC. Hey, hey, next Super Bowl, you are gonna see it live. It ain't gonna be two teams. It's gonna be CMC versus Edelman. Edelman, if you see this. Contact Cool Paso. We need to get you on the field versus my boy CMC. We need to see. Hey, I'd run it too. <laughs> like, Ooh. Ooh, that, that boy, hot fire, hot fire, hot fire for him. All right, there we go. All right. So let's let's hear what my man Ghost got to say then. Let's get over here, my man Ghost. And I want to hear Ghost, let us know who's in the AFC, NFC, and why, and who's coming out on top. Not a Bronco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my team, Bo Nicks. Bo Nicks. You will be the one. You will be the one. Just let it take the time. Also, I want to shout out to my boy Malik Washington, number 83, on Miami Dolphins. He did his thing on Sunday. But Lamar, Lamar, Lamar is going to revenge. Lamar is going to revenge. And then I'm going to have to give it to my dogs because I did watch them. Detroit Lions, they coming back for revenge. They are coming back for revenge. Who is going to stop Amon St. Brown? Who is? That man, if y'all watch the receivers, y'all know that man really played hurt and was still that dog. Yeah, I was going to say, I, after watching that receivers um, series on Netflix, yeah, I, St. Brown, like, he got my respect a lot. You guys are him his respect a lot, the way he did it. That, that, that man is like Ray Lewis in a receiver body, I swear. That's who you're me. As much, as much as I want Lamar to win it, I'm going to have to give it to Detroit Lions because... They over there doing whatever they got to do to get it back, and they've been grinding. That's all I'm saying. All right, so so Jared Goff on top of uh, Lamar Jackson Super Bowl, what's the score? It's gonna be a shootout. It's gonna be a shootout, but I'll probably be like thirty-five, thirty. Ooh. Down to the wire. They down, go, to, the wire. down to the wire. Ooh. They both got good offenses. They both got good defenses. It's just it's gonna come down to turnovers. Who can get the most turnovers? Who can get off the field faster? It's gonna, it's gonna be a game, and you don't see about it. All right, so hey, y'all heard it first. Super Bowl predictions, NFL season predictions. Y'all want to write them down? Run this back. You can write them down. If y'all lose money because of this, don't call me. <laughs> they made the predictions. I didn't. I didn't make them. So I ain't responsible for nothing. I'm just. Hey, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just the. I'm the middleman getting the word out for them. They the ones making these predictions, and y'all the ones giving them money for the predictions. So y'all lose money, you know to take it up to. I'm, I'm free of this. <laughs> hey, first in the 15th. Most likely on the 15th because the first bill's got to get paid. You know what Bone Thug said. First in the month, wake up. <laughs> All right, so my boys, and it ain't got to be in order whoever wants to take this on first. I want to know, where's y'all love of sports come from? And when did it start? I'll take it. I'll go take for it. it. Go so, for it. 
Uh, I did wrestling before I did football. Like you was out there like DX, like yeah, like slander, you was Swanton Bomb. Swanton, like, Sh- shout out, shout out to Ed and J- hey, shout out to the Hardy Boys. In wrestling, I, uh, I won state. I don't know how, but uh, the football coach was out there. He was like, yeah, I was a little chubbier back then. He was just like, yeah, put you on the line. And then I was like, okay. And then I started seeing the skills of our receivers. And then I did track. Once I did track, I got a little faster. Normally, people would be like, oh, I'm going to go to wide receiver. No, I like hitting people. I like talking and hitting. So I go on the corner, and that's where it started. Plus, my family is a big, big, big sports. Everybody went D1 in my family. Unfortunately, I went HBCU because, you know, it's my litter in a D1 school. Shout out to Albany State University, the unsinkable Golden Rams. But, yeah. All right, so my boy CMC, um, where did your – love for sports start at where's the derived from it and and what's your passion and motivation behind it uh where i'm from i'm from a small town so we really didn't have much options when it came to sports like our town was like really driven around football itself and so i knew i wanted to play football as a kid because my dad did it kind of just follow so i ended up just trying it and then i ended up really enjoying it when i got into middle school i wasn't able to do like the whole peewee thing because i didn't grow up in like the greatest like area or whatever and uh once i played i like i said i really enjoyed it and um i just continued to play but i eventually had to quit because i had to grow up i uh, had bills to pay at a young age and i had to try move to adulting yeah and then uh i would have to say now being a lot older the inspiration i had is obviously my wife my gorgeous wife hey shout out to all the wives and the spouses out there hey. Kids. It's a it's a blessing being able to come off the field and see my little kids be so excited to just be there with their mother. Hey, yo, yo, you know your kids do be hyped. Not to cut you off, but your kids do be hyped. Last game they was they was hyping me up. I thought I was like, all right, we gotta have a party. I thought we gotta have a party on the sidelines. They're bringing me juice throwing footballs. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm hoping my kids. I mean, my kids can do whatever they like, but it would be nice to see my kids play some type of sports. Most definitely, most deaf. My daughter and my son. Most deaf. Ali, what about you, bro? What's uh what what motivates you besides me? Because I, I know I'm your inspiration out there on the field. You see me, you, you know, being great, you want to be great. So I don't blame you. Big boy, great thing. <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh what inspired me to play sports was just uh watching movies, man. Like as a kid, just watching these sports movies and Rudy. Yeah, stuff like that, you know. Uh stuff that, you know. That would be inspirational. Favorite sports movie, go. The program. I don't know you're going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all want to watch a good sports movie? Go watch the program. It's an old movie for all you young kids talking about. That's, I don't know what the young kids say. Oh, my son be saying that. That's, it, it, yeah, it slaps. It slaps. So go check it out. It slaps. Uh, so, yeah, man, just uh, in high school, I only played uh, one semester of football in freshman year. Um, didn't really play much, but the time that they get to play, like, I had fun. I got blindsided pretty bad. And Ooh. I got to hear that ooh factor from everyone. Ooh. Like, when you, when you get hit, it was like, ooh. Uh, like, you, I, I wasn't the receiver. Were you looking out the ear hole? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Like, I, had, like, I love that feeling. Trying to figure out when did, when did he get a visor on his helmet? Like, when did I get a dark visor on my helmet? <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, like, uh, I, after that, I didn't play any sports after high school. But uh, I, I started getting into flag football in 2008 and ever since then i just uh inspired myself to try to win something because i've never won a championship man so that's my inspiration is hey i'm mean, gonna try to win it i've known i've been playing ball with ali for what we played a full like actual calendar what two years calendar years so two years about what five legit football seasons five, six seasons yeah, yeah about five. Five. every year so i know this man this man has mentioned winning a chip and getting a t-shirt and flag football we don't get lombardis we get t-shirts that say you won a flag football championship. Good job, grown man. <laughs> but as long as I've known Ali, been playing with this man, he's been wanting to chip and mention that. So we got to get this man chipped this year. So it's gonna happen, Ali. We are gonna get it there. Man, as soon as yeah. I get that, I'm, I'm retired. Cause I, don't I, can't, I can't go anymore, man. So yeah. Yeah. Angel, 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 you watching this? Angel, 
get <laughs> or, maybe I'll, I'll or maybe I'll have another season after. I don't know. We'll see. I don't need to chip for retirement. You, you, Tom Brady, you can't retire. You've been doing 20 years in this thing. You might as well keep going. You get, <laughs> Olympics is four years away. You start, you need to get ready to train. The Olympics is four years away. We got, we got to put a team together, man. I heard. I heard. I'll be able to be a coach. I heard <laughs> Brady got a squad already, so we got to put something together, dog. I ain't trying to lose to Europe in flag football. Hell, yeah, the Italians are good in flag football. I, I've heard. I heard. I'm not trying to. I, I like pizza and all, but I ain't trying to take no L on the football field from Luigi and Mario. Hey, shout out to Italy, by the way. <laughs> all right, all right. What was it? What was his name Devito from um from New York? The quarterback. Tommy, Tommy I, I like that kid. I like yeah. I like that kid. F New York still, you know, Cowboys all day, but I like, I like, hey, give me the money, give me the money. All right, so, so Mike Grzowski, Mr. Monsters Inc. himself, what, 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 um, what got you loving sports? What's your motivation to, to, you know, do your best on the field? Like, hey, I, I heard you last week, man. You was out there talking about, talking about, uh, you know, watch, watch me. I got this dog, and I, I saw you out there cooking. You know, I saw you. So, so, what, what makes Mike Grzowski be Mike? Krasowski. So honestly, I, my my love for football started six years old when I Cowboys started watching Marion Barber. Mm, RP Marion Barber. All of them, <clears throat> and started playing uh, little league around seven and never stopped. Uh, hey, high school freshman year, uh, did play only that year. Kind of went down the wrong path, so kind of like changed everything for me. Where'd you Where'd you play at? Coronado. Oh, that's why, dog. Yeah, that's why you played at Coronado. It's not your fault. Coronado. All the rich kids. All the rich kids. Hey, man, look, all them, all them rich, say what you want about America. Y'all went to America's, but it wasn't like how y'all think it was. We ain't no rich kids like that. But Coronado got them rich kids. So that's what it was. Because did, did you have a, a BMW in the driveway? Nah, man. That's why you have a BMW. <laughs> but honestly, um, inspiration playing flag football. I mean, the person that got me into it, cousin Iman. Um, Shout out to Iman. Hey, out there. Um, maybe now. Hey, yeah, he out there. He, hey, Iman left the team to go fight for our country, so I can't even respect that. Even though he's, you know, he's in the Navy. I don't. I heard. I heard some things about the Navy. I don't really know if they're true or not. But hey, Iman, just whatever you're doing, dog. Hey, stay safe out there. We appreciate you, man. When you come back, we got a spot for you. When this chip, we got a shirt for you too. So appreciate it, Iman. Salute. But, um, inspiration right now. Um, number twenty six. That's the day that my son was born. So, hey. son, inspiration, always got him on my back, always getting the yards, getting them grabs, and shout out my wife as well, and my daughter. All right, all right. But those, honestly, are my biggest inspirations right now, to keep going in life and just pursuing going Run. greatness. Now you know what you got to do now on Halloween, now that you know you get your daughter and Mike Rizowski, you got to dress up as Mike Rizowski for all the rest of the whole monster is everything now. My son already got the Mike Rizowski ones here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's what it's got to be, bro. All right, so my boy Trey, the world's dying to know what what got you into sports. What makes you be the man? Because hey, y'all don't Trey outside of me and my love of sports and you know my my personal health stuff. Trey, yo, Trey's a dog. That man, that man, he will literally not leave the field even if he's dying. We, we had to we had to make we had to make this man leave the field, and he got mad at us. <laughs> So hey, that 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 man, shout shout out to my boy Trey. So let, let us know where does that dog, where does that kind of passion come from? Uh, so I, so I've been playing sports ever since middle school. I, I started off with wrestling. Been wrestling for eight years. Was you uh, who wins in the fight, the N N W or D X? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about everybody getting D X D X chop. Everybody shout out to Embiid. Hey, shout out to Embiid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I started off with Greco Roman wrestling. Um. And then Greco, huh? Yeah. That's crazy, man. You know, I just I just really watched Greco Roman wrestling for the first time in the Olympics. You know, that's the one time you watch all the crazy sports you never watch. Yeah. And bro, that that sport is I that's crazy. Like the rule, the, the technicalities and the rules of it, I I I I I'd lose. I I I varsity. Varsity. <laughs> I'll be the only senior on freshman team. Like, why are you on freshman <laughs> team? <laughs> And I sometimes sit down for the damn. Like, yeah, you lost. I'm like, how? How the fuck up? I'm like, my points. I'm like, now I'm going. Through, now I'm going through the book. I'm like. Yeah, see, that's how I was. I was when I, I I forgot who was fighting or who was who who was wrestling, but uh, I want to say it's someone from America and like uh, Australia or something like that. But 
I thought the America dude was winning because from what I saw, he was DD10 and power bombing buddy left and right. So I was like, oh, bro, you pin him, it's over. Apparently, those aren't points. The Australian dude lay on top of him in some weird way and just laid there for about 10 seconds. Didn't do nothing. Neither one of them just laid there. And that was points. So I was, yeah, I was apparently a yeah, certain dominance. I don't, I don't know. But apparently, Australia won because of that or whoever it was. But yeah, so I feel you on the, on the rules thing. I'd, I'd be confused too, bro. I'd be with the, with the rule book in, in my, in my uh, what do y'all call them? The singlets? I'd have a rule book in my singlet sitting there trying to hold up, time out. So that is, that, that is three points. Okay. That's that's what's up. So so you wrestled all four years in high school? Uh yeah. Yeah. And then did you play football at the same time or are you just strictly uh, so, I, so funny enough, I didn't play football in high school. What? Uh, yeah, I only, only did uh wrestling and soccer. So have you ever played contact football? Uh no. Bro, we're about to Hey, hey, <laughs> listen up. Anybody in the Southwest flag football team that wants to get pads on? Uh, no, leave, leave no. comment. Leave, leave, hey, leave a message in the comments. We're gonna get a like like a Sunday fun day tackle football game together, so we can pop his his full contact uh, tackle football cherry, bro. How, how? Yeah, we'll have waivers. Get your own insurance though, because you know I. Yeah, you know. Hey, you, think, you think that two weeks ago that fight was bad? Imagine with contact. So so never so never tackle. Okay, all right. So. When did you get in the flag again? Uh, so I got the flag when I when I got first got hit uh Paso. Uh okay. my boy hit Ghost here. Y'all like like Luigi and, and Mario? Who's Luigi? Before I cut you off, we are not brothers. No, yeah, no. We are not brothers. Yo, they gotta say that because, because <laughs> on, the, on the real, for those of y'all who never been to El Paso, Texas, um, there ain't many black folk out here. And the ones that are here from the military. So when you see us out here, automatically everybody's like, are you guys brother? No, no, I don't even know this man. So yeah, I, I understand that part. So they're, so they are not brothers. Okay, y'all got that. Could be cousins, but not brothers. So, all right. um, so Batman and Robin Marley, we didn't touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked I talk to Ghost. I came out watching one of the, the Squirtle Squad games. He, he talked to uh, shout out to Squad. Hey, shout out to uh, Steph and Teresa. Hey, hey appreciate y'all for all y'all do for me. Hey, my dog Rhino <laughs> too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rhino, Rhino, that dog. I saw him catch a touchdown a couple weeks ago. Rhino caught a touchdown. Yeah, he caught a touchdown. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, you heard it first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, 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 but yeah, yeah. So I so I started off with Squirtle Squad, and then um, I was like, let me get to men's. And funny enough, funny story enough, how I got to men's, I was at Wendy's one day. So this podcast, is, this podcast is, I'm learning a lot about my teammates. I I didn't know until prior to this. So y'all are just as much shocked as I am. So Wendy's got you. Yeah, I got I got, I got recruited at, at a Wendy's. To play, to, to, I start off with uh, untouchables. Yeah. Can't touch them, man. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then I met y'all, and then y'all was like, it was, right. that was over. Trey, 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 come play, Trey, come play. I, I think at one point y'all asked Freddie, he was like, hey, I'm about to put you in a choke hold, you don't come play. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just so y'all know, that's how if y'all wanna if y'all wanna join the team next season, this, we we're already locked up this year, but if y'all wanna join next season, um that's that's two ways of joining. Either, you know, we ask you and you be like, Yeah, you wanna get down, or we threaten you. So I mean you take your pick. Either you either you sign the paperwork and say we're down or we put you in a chokehold. So that is what it is. <laughs> you join or you don't. What what did what did uh, Pablo say? Plata diploma, what did, what did he say? Silver lead, silver lead. That's, a, that's that's how it is when it comes to relentless. Something like that. Oh, <laughs> but, playing with wide receiver and hey, hey, been enjoying it ever since. I feel you. I feel you. Hey, hey, I'm telling you, man. These 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 are my boys, man. Like when I'm on the field, I go to battle with these dogs all day. Cause I'm telling you, if someone, if you if y'all want to see some dogs out there for real, you want to see some ballers and some of the most wittiest. And when I say wittiest, I, I mean Ali. Ali's our for y'all who don't know, Ali's our film guy. He's, a, he's always the guy in our, in our in our group chat, always like, hey, guys, I just watched the film, our next opponent. Bro, we don't care. We, 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 at, we at work. We with our kids. I'm, or it's me. I'm at home chilling, but I'm just, I'm a troll, so I'm just talking junk to him. But in reality, um, man, I'm telling you, man, this, this team is, 
this team is solid, man, because we got a little bit of everything. We got, as you hear, you know, we got we got guys who are willing to put life on the line for the squad. We got guys who who uh, just they ain't even touched the touch the really watch watch the sport their whole life. But hey, they out here. You would I'm telling you, watch them ball. You would think they did. We got some dogs out here. Like I said, Ali out here. He's our film guy. He always watching the film on his own. Like he don't we don't ask him. He just does it. And a lot of the times, man, the advice he gives us it pays off. And it, it paid off this past weekend. So like. Tell you, relentless is where it's at, and I appreciate these boys just just be on the field. Um, just as, as I want to tell y'all personally, I mean, I tell us all the time we, when we chop it up, but so they know. Um, I appreciate y'all, 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 my boys. I, I rock with y'all. So it's relentless to the end. We gotta go get, we gotta go get a t shirt. You know what I'm saying? We got a t shirt. So uh, I want to know what's y'all's two questions for y'all. Pass it around. We'll start with Mike and work our way down. What's your best memory playing sports? your best memory watching the sport. It could be any sport. It could be golf, basketball, baseball, track, extreme underwater basket weaving. So first off, starting off watching and can't go wrong with my boy Chef Curry, bro. Oh, you saw he was cooking. Oh, he's Captain America <laughs> himself. Safety USA all by himself. Put him all on his back on his own. That man, is, that man is cold. He put America on his back and he been putting light skins on his back for the past 15 years. I, I thank that man because he been, <laughs> He been making he been making us look good. I, I think I thank the chef. He been doing it all. Um, favorite memory playing? Uh, not in high school. Not talking crap to Cornell, but when I was there, man, we sucked. We sucked. I think first quarterback, all he wanted to do was scramble. Receivers probably like five six inches shorter than all the rest of them corners. It was it was bad. In hold on. So hold on. So you was trying to play receiver in high school? I was the safety in high school. Oh, yeah, I was okay. Safety. Use use a little short. Safety. Yeah, I love hitting people. I oh, I love contact. Was, I love he contact. Linebacker. He was out the China. He was out there. He was out there in, in third period. Mike was Mike was in third period biology, just thinking about crushing someone's esophagus with the crown of his helmet on Friday night. Just rock can't wait to kill someone from Franklin. <laughs> I am so <laughs> All right, my boy Ali, in year two, plan, watching. What are they? Go. Hot shot round. Oh, y'all just pass the mic. Y'all want some musical chairs? Want some music for it? <laughs> uh, actually, the one thing that I'm proud to watch, it's kind of like a, a sad moment, but it's a NASCAR race when uh, Dale Earnhardt got that. Bro, I cried. So, but I watched the whole thing. I watched yeah. it from start to finish. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, to I'm about to say this, and it ain't much of a shock now, but it'd be a shock right there. I'm a NASCAR fan since I was a kid. When I was a kid, I could name you every NASCAR number. Color the car, sponsor, driver, where they're from, literally. So I, 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 yeah. I, I couldn't do that. I I, I just was proud. Nah, I, was, I, 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 mean, I, I cried. I was I was in eighth grade. I cried. I didn't know I didn't know what happened. You know, I was just like, oh, there, there was an accident. But I was just like, oh, like that, that was the first time I. I'd seen. Hey, Dell was a hey, just like you know football. We we say Tom's a goat. Hey, if anyone that watches NASCAR or follows a sport or even has any kind of sense of it, they know. Them fans, NASCAR fans, NASCAR will consider Dell their goat. So, Intimidator. Yeah, so that'd be like us losing Tom Brady. You know that that you, you ain't not you know you ain't gonna forget where you were when that happened. So I feel you on that. And playing, and playing. Um, well, it's gonna be getting that chip. That's, well, it's gonna be that. that but it's gonna be that. The, my most favorite favorite memorable moment is uh, when I was playing night league one time. I got a pick six and off a Ooh. guy that uh, that I, I knew it was coming. Like I knew that it was gonna go to the back sack. So I kind of creeped up, and as soon as the ball snapped. I kind of saw him turn around and start throwing the ball. So as soon as I saw that, I creeped up and got the ball and took off. And that was like my favorite memorable moment is to get that pick six. Because I never had that moment. Next thing you know, Ali was sliding in Carolina's DMs like, hey, y'all need to sign me. Y'all need to sign me. Yeah, you give me that. Give me that 10 day two way, whatever y'all got. Give me something, dog. I just took this back to the house. All right. I feel you, Ali. I'm with you on that. All right, Trey, let us know on the field and watching. What you got for us? All right, my favorite one watching is uh watching my my boy the Falcons get to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Not watching the same. Hey, go ahead and give the CMC. Yeah, yeah. Give it the CMC. Hey, yeah, yeah. hey you can say you can say what you want about Dallas choking. You can talk about that. You can say what you hey, you can say what you want. I ain't never ever seen a team in any situation like that do what they did. So you just get, get the get get, get the money. <laughs> Come on, I like being a Atlanta fan. I'll tell you what. Hey, you low. I'll give you that. Hey, but I'm, uh, I'm going to say it like this. Hey, this year's our year for the Super Bowl. But anyways, um, uh, we're turning into the Cowboys right there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that, that's that, uh, that Kirk Cousins effect. 
That's that Kirk Cousins effect. Oh, you like that, huh? Oh, you like that? You like that? Kurt got to Atlanta, hung with Amigos one day, and it changed his life. That's it. It's oh, right. Cousins, Cousins is the most blackest white guy on that team, dude. Right. <laughs> All right, and, and on, on, the the field, field, on the field, what you got on the field? On the field? Uh, on, 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 on the field, field but sports in general. I'll say it would be my, my first season playing with Squirtle Squad. Ghost right. goes, goes going to test. Uh, we, we, we got one touchdown, beat that bad boy. So, so they sent us on a Hail Mary. <laughs> he, he said, said he said, coach. I, tu I turn around and I watch Billy throw that shit up. And I'm, like, I'm like, okay, you got to come down with this. Bag it up, backpedaling, put hands up. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like mm, I ain't got this. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I was like three feet outside. I was like, let me just back up real quick. Oh, did you? Did you, did you, did you Brian afterwards, did you step over like AI did on um, Lou back? No, I, I had one of them shaky moments, like, bro, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? 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 You know what Next time we in the game, we throw you a deep one, you drop it. Ain't no excuse. Okay. But you, you, we know you can catch it. So, hey. Uh, hey I'm going I'm to one hand one for, for y'all this season, all right? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angel, 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 right there, right, right now. now. Put it in your phone. Right now, right now. now. Put, it your, put it under your uh, Apple notes or whatever. One handed. You heard that. I didn't say that. He said it. Trust. Anyway. <laughs> Big trust. All right. Big trust. Apparently, everybody getting 10 day contracts out here. Lay it, on, lay it on them, CMC. Lay it on them. Let them know. Let them know what it is. Uh, watching, like I said, I don't watch nothing. Like he said, he said I don't watch them. They watch me. <laughs> I did not say that, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I want, I want fifteen percent off, off top. I want fifteen percent off top. We get t-shirts and stickers made. Uh, watching, I really don't have nothing but playing. I would have to say it would probably have been. I think it was last season or the season before that. I had gotten a pick six from one end zone to the other. Uh, to the crib. Yeah, the back side of the end zone. And then all I know is like, run. Run like that. Hey, he, hey, he pulled a Forrest Gump. He kept the run in. <laughs> what did he say? Who the hell is that? Oh, that's Forrest Gump. That boy sure is fast, but he sure is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next hey, next game, CNC, you, you put one in the end zone, bro. Just keep running, dog. That's all I'm going to do. Just keep running, bro. He, you gonna see him run, run, run an out of album park right down Yarbrough. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see CNC on Fit Fam running down I ten. Be like, oh man, he must be drunk. Like, nah, bro, we had we had a game about an hour ago, and he's still running. We need, by the way, we need that ball back. It wasn't ours. <laughs> Boy, CNC out there wilding. It's tired, man. It's tired, man. It feels out here. They ain't, they ain't the flattest thing. Hey, yeah. Hey, you made a good point. Real quick. Yeah. Can uh, anyone, I don't know who's in charge of these fields out here in El Paso. They're they, they not, they not all bad. Some of them are good. The newer ones are nice. Stop but, uh, the count. Album, <laughs> album Park could use some help because I'm pretty sure if you watch the film, I didn't fall. I hit a pothole and I, I almost broke my ankle. So, there's sprinklers in the middle of the field or something. Right? right? Metal sprinklers in the middle of the field sticking out. Like, bro, you trying to get us killed? Like, I got, yeah, I got, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have that, that good Omaha mutual. Um, um, don't mind that, y'all. I don't have that, I don't have that Omaha mutual life insurance. I got that VA stuff. So I can't afford sprinklers through my, through my femur and stuff, through my leg. Like, so can y'all fix that, please? Yeah, I'll go park. All right, to so my boy Ghost. Let me, let me get your two doggy. Let me get your greatest on the field or on the field moment and your greatest. I seen it with my own eyes. You had to be there to believe it off the field moment. Well, one, I'm a, I'm a shout out to my boy Trey. Uh, I didn't think that man has 99 catching. Bro, y'all hear the love out here. Y'all hear the love out here. Bro, y'all hear the, bro, hear the love out That's what I'm talking about. Hey, the man is very coachable. I taught him some things, but one thing I did teach was them hands. I did teach that. But, but uh, like, I, like I said before, uh, I always love football, but uh, my first love was track. I'm a track person. So uh, I'm going to shout out to the U.S. US women's team. Hey, shout out Team America, you know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Richardson and all them. Hey, let's go. But, but 
Yeah, before yeah. Carrie Richardson, there was an Alex Felix. Oh yeah. Well, you know who I, you know who, you know who I used to watch back then? Flo Jo. But I was feeling she was a dog on the seat. Yeah, no, they dogs, bro. She, 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 if they got US on their chest, they dogs. I don't care. But uh, I got I got a couple of good memories. Um, my one, uh, I think it was this season. I don't remember. But uh, shout out to Gina, cause you know, squad of squad, we don't pitch. But Gina, you did a, hey, a great a job pitch. on pitching. A hell of a oh, yeah. That sounds like a team. That sounds like a team slogan. <laughs> we don't pitch. <laughs> but you did a, a great job pitch. on that pitch to give me that uh that touchdown to, that in the you playoffs. Know. Um, so yeah. Um, also, uh, I say, y'all know me. You know, if I play sucky, that's cool. I'm always in the game like I do on um, relentless. I get a couple of game in the interceptions. That's that's the most highlight of the game because you know. Hey, real, real talk. That's one thing that we say, say, say as a team, man. We're going to make some mistakes, but we're going to learn from them. We make the same mistake twice. And, hey, when we need someone to step up and make something clutch happen, trust me, these boys, we make it happen. So what he says is true. I'm just going to say this. Y'all can DM me on my Instagram if y'all want to. Mm. If you line up against me, oh just God. make sure you bring your A game. Are y'all listening? Oh Hold up. Bring run your A game. Hold on, you know we in Texas. We have to we like we like to chop we like to chop and screw and run things back in Texas. So can you run that back for me? That I don't think they heard you. Run it I back said if me. you line up against me, just make sure you bring your A game. Let me break it down for you guys. If you line up against him, he's going to do what? Bring your A game. I'm locking you up. Locking so you up. what he's saying is, if you're not a valedictorian, don't even come over here. A game. If you're getting B's and C's and, and D's in class, don't, don't, don't. Don't. But I will what? say this. Yeah, I will say this. I am a very humble person. If you do get a catch, the man just told y'all bring your a game. You gonna turn around and tell you he's humble. <laughs> As I say, I'm not. I'm not a killer. But if you look at me wrong, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. <laughs> but no, I'm a choke on you. I talk. I talk a lot about the game. I love the guys. Um, Unfortunately, I got one more season after this. Oh, boo! Everybody, boo this man. Hey, don't boo me. Do military. Do military. Oh, let me guess. You gotta, you gotta bounce. PCS to Hawaii. PCS. Man, I don't feel bad for him no more. Hawaii, bro. Bro, we hey, relentless. Pack your bags. Hawaii, twenty twenty-five. Hey, hey, just playing, we play black football. On hey, the nah, game. honestly, those boys in Hawaii. Yeah, we ain't. Yeah, we ain't. Nah, hey, nah, 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 bro, we ain't going to the same. I watched the one. I watched the one. What's his name? Was big. Hey, yeah. Maui. Was, Maui was big. Yeah. We ain't. I, we ain't. Hey, I, I, I ain't playing with the Rock and his cousins. Nah, we good, bro. We ain't. I'm gonna do one. I'm happy on thirty for thirty. Rock can play with Samoan. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Oh damn. But I never that. But uh, Vic, I'm gonna let you know right now. Mm. We, I want shake and bake. Oh, I want shake and bake man. A little bit of shake. I'm gonna let you know right now. I got a bet. I got a bet against nah, this dude named shake, Style bake, Shake and Bake. Yeah. Trey knows. Trey knows. <laughs> he told me he gonna beat me. Oh, man. He gonna put up four touchdowns against me. That's not happening. Yeah, all right so let me let me let me ask y'all some serious questions we, we got about we got about 10 minutes left let, let me get let's get let's get to the the hot topic real quick all right relentless olympics think of all the events in the olympics think of who we got in the squad who golds in what event y'all pick one person one event that they gold in give me an answer now one of y'all. All right, so we got uh we got Kelsey, our big tight end. Kelsey, all right, shot to Kelsey. What's it going on? Shot put. Shot. Ooh. All right, shot Ooh. put. CMC said he don't watch sports, so he ain't got no vote in this, so he ain't worried. He told y'all. He said you gotta watch him. Hey, CMC, CMC wins and C hey, you know what? My prediction is gold medal, team uh, team USA, CMC wins and break dancing because uh, hey, Australia ain't it. <laughs> Australia is not it, so we got it. CMC got gold medal break dancing. Um, I got uh, Santi. Ooh, Santi. Santi. Santi with the with the discus, man. I think that. Hey, guy not, yeah, Santi. Yeah, Santi gonna put it through the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. All right. What you got, Mike Wazowski? Any minute now. You gotta change it because you're high. <laughs> um, shout out my boy Vic. Everybody Vic, say he be it. he be falling. So, you know, Vic do be, man. Vic do be flopping. Vic be falling for no reason. 
<laughs> all right, so hey, so think about it. All right, so look, Vic, think about what you just said. Vic be falling, right? So think about what event in the Olympics would fall and come in clutch for. He could do a triple tumbling, bro. Triple. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Vic is getting gold medal for US in tumbling, and he's got it with a little leotard. Hey, is that the one that had a little <laughs> string too? Oh yeah. I'll, hey, you know what? Hey, look. I think we should all get a sponsorship, pitching money, a GoFundMe to get Vic to LA 2028 to represent USA and tumbling. Right here first. <laughs> Not because Vic's good, because Vic's like six foot two Hispanic dude with no coordination, and he's our homie. So we gotta, we gotta, uh, you know, we gotta put Vic on. Hey, nah, it's all love though, Vic. It's all love, bro. <laughs> it's it's not it's it's love, Vic, but it's more of like for our entertainment. Because. <laughs> Hey, because Vic, I know you know this, I already told you, but just so you know this again, you know, you throwing up after the last game, that's my screensaver on my phone right now. So. Shout out to Nessa for getting Nessa, hey, yo, I'm, hey, I'm going to tell y'all now, I'm going to tell y'all now real quick, y'all y'all think Nessa and, and Cool Paso are so sweet, which they are, but on, on the sneak tip, they be they be getting y'all, we ain't safe either, they didn't snag us twice, that's why when I know now, if I got to throw up, I'm, I'm going to the car, yeah, I'm going to throw up in the car. I'm going to put it in my pocket and keep playing. I, you ain't finna catch me on camera. Nessa in my face. Oh, I got you. <laughs> you ain't finna have me on, on Cool Paso getting laughed at. First it was Allie, now it's Vic. Who's, get, who's getting it next? Angel? Hey, you know what? That is a good bet. Angel, don't don't throw up Sunday, dog. <laughs> Oh, look, I feel special. You call me old? No, gold. Oh, gold? Oh, yeah. Y'all heard that, baby? Gold. Gold. Got a, got a master chain and a watch, baby. Gold medal around here. Table, bro. Hey, no no joke. When I, hey, when I was in Korea, I was out there. I was out there. I ain't. Bing, 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 bing. I was out there. It's been, it's been. Give me. All right, Ali, we got you. We'll get a little something together. Give me, give me a little bit of time. It's been a few years since I played. It's, all right, see, look, I mean, I'm done. He, 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 that side, he, that side, he like my homie. I go, let's go bowling. I go bowling. He pulls out a whole bag and a ball. Meanwhile, I'm renting shoes and, and borrowing balls from, from Bolo Paso. Like, bro. I got, I got one more. I got one more. Go so, uh, four by one, Day, me, Dom, and CMC over here winning gold in a four by one. You know what? That is a cold. That is a cold relay team. If y'all if y'all don't know what he just said, he said himself, my nephew Day, who plays with us, shout out to Day. My little brother Dom who plays with us, shout out to Dom and CMC. Them boys are fast. So yeah, they'd win. They'd probably get like 20, 26th place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but in El Paso, they gonna win. But at the Olympics, I mean, you got them boys out there, you know, and they got boys. Like, I'm sure the same boat and stuff. I could have lazy. He out there running like a, what's uh, what's his name? Eggnog. I'm running like Eggnog. Like, like, <laughs> what's his name? What's his Jack? No, it's not Jack Jack. It's big, it's big bro. Uh, Dash. Dash. I, I out there running like Dash, little legs. Shout out to Dash, you know what I'm saying? Edna got A. Edna got, Edna got four, sets, four sets of ACLs. Because you ain't walking like that. On two on two regular ACLs. That's 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 them. That's them military grade um, Stanley Steel um, ACLs. Yeah, she got. You didn't answer the question though. What's up? Yeah, you didn't answer the question. Oh, I gotta answer. I'm the yeah, host. Don't matter. Don't I want y'all to answer. Nobody. Nobody. I want you. All right, who we got on the squad? Let me see who's on the squad. I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm a Drew. This is for you, dog. I'm gonna give Drew needs some love. Drew Yo, needs some love. Hey, that's, Drew. That's I'm gonna say uh, Drew gold medal. And Drew's a sleeper. Um, Drew's a sleeper, man. He he I think he keep up on y'all. So I'm gonna say Drew, gold medal, LA 28, Team USA. And uh he's on that podium with a gold for summer games. Oh bro, rowing. Rowing. Because Drew got that, Drew got that lane, dog. Drew. No, I don't hey hey Drew, Drew, I ain't trying to be mean, but nothing about you tells me pole, pole vaulting. I feel like if you pole vault, bro, we're all going to the hospital to visit you. So so, so don't pole vault, Drew. Start start doing the uh, the rowing. I, I, know, I don't know, you could probably go to the Rio Grande. We'll go to Harbor Freight, get you a boat. I don't know, they, got, they, got, they got kayaks at Harbor Freight. 
Yeah, if y'all been El Paso, we ain't got you a belly like here. So the closest we got is Harvard and Freight. So we don't have the water out here. We got we got a Scott out there. We got bro, we got a Scott out there in the Rio, dog. If you can try, they just they just swam the the Cathlon and the Seine River. I don't know if you know the Seine River in Paris, but there's bodies from like the Dark Ages in there still, bro. They still poop in there. Yeah, they still poop in that thing. So like so they can swim in that. No shade, shade, no shade to Paris, no shade. No a lot shade. of shade to no Paris. Shade. Y'all, y'all, y'all knew better. Y'all knew better. Y'all knew better. Which means LA don't do that because now I got to eat them words if I don't give them clean water to swim in. So I don't know why no person is out there with the green water in the pool. I don't know about that. All I'm gonna say is relentless needs tryouts for this flag football team. Everybody's talking about these NFL teams. No, NFL teams don't have no hips like these El Paso people out here. Mm. We, we, hey. we got the hips out here. Them you know Shakiras. I don't know how to I hit that, but I hit that. <laughs> but whoever is in charge of this flag football stuff, please let me know where the trials are and we will be there. Hey, y'all hear that? R real talk. If y'all trying to get a city team to put together a rep for the city, a rep for the state, whatever, whether it's rep, you know. At a, at a state tournament, a regional tournament, or even we trying to put a squad together to to make it uh, for the Olympics. Tapping with these boys, tapping with anybody in the Southwest Flag Football League. We got a lot of ballers in this league who take this sport serious, who want to actually represent uh, America for the Olympics in the sport in 28. So anyone that got um, knowledge of that or got it going, tap in. Let's start networking. Let's put EP on the map as far as flag football. Let know they're serious out here. Uh, as far as that, hey, that's our show for today. I appreciate y'all tapping in with us. I appreciate the love. Uh, my boys, thank you for coming through. Nessa, cool Paso, thank you for letting me come through and uh, host this. It was an honor, a privilege. I want to do this again, hopefully one day. I loved it. Um, just right on my alley, by the way, if y'all know I'm going to school for something like this, so you might see me on Sports Center one day. Um, don't forget, tap in, cool Paso, like, subscribe, comment, share, repost everything screenshot tell your baby mama baby daddy your abuelo abuela <laughs> your plug whoever hey get get cool paso popping day out there every weekend the heat in the cold taking y'all's videos y'all's team pictures jumping from park to park okay. burning their gas putting their chain on you all that stuff so at least you do is show them some love give them a follow give them a like like i said if y'all want to host this or put your team on the map for an hour 200 bucks right now it's on sale. It's a special. Tap in with Cool Paso. Get in the comments. You already know the Instagram. You know the Facebook. Stop playing dumb. Show some love. <laughs> Support the local. Yes. And hop on here. If y'all, if they don't get 100 subscribers, no, I'm going to take that back. If they don't get a lot of 500 subscribers by next Sunday, I meet, us on the field. I, meet me on the field. Meet us on the field. I'm going to put you in the chokehold because I have to go to work on Monday. I, I have no parts in there. I'm not feeling y'all with nobody. They need <laughs> bring them up. They do a lot of great work. They will sneak some pictures of you throwing up or throwing shade on other teams. But it's okay. It's okay. But show some love. If not, I will show love to other places that's not on the field. Oh, and one last thing before I forget, actually, too. Um, hey, who's the name of that team we played this weekend? Uh, Bus hey. Insider. Bus, Bus Insider? Bus Insider. Hey, shout out Bus Insider. That was a hell of a game. Dog Dog know. Dog Dog um, we won Dog overtime. Uh, barely. Yeah. Eric 14, with 14. the Yeah, y'all got to check the highlights. Uh, I ended the game on a pick. You know how it is. Y'all are dogs. <laughs> the wrong man in this thing. But yeah, uh, shout out to Bus Insider. Bro. That was a hell of a game. Um, back and forth. Hey. I, and we were talking to each other all, all day. That was that was a fun game. Even if we'd have lost that game, it was still fun. It would have been mad, but it was fun. We, but <laughs> we got the dub. That's what we do. We six and two of the season, so that's what it is. Six and two. And one more shout out. I got told that if I didn't do this, I would get my ass whooped. So shout out to my mom. I got shot on my mom. She literally texted me. She was like, give me a shout out, mijo. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 hey, mom, there's a shout out. Don't whoop me. Don't whoop me. Mom. Please don't whoop me. <laughs> don't whoop me. Please. <laughs> I'll give you a shout out. There's proof right there. But um, other than that, like I said, y'all tap in, like, subscribe, and peace.